That is why Funcho Adeyoti said, losing a man or a husband who does not respect you is actually not a loss. It is a gain. A man that loves you will never put you in a situation to fight for him because he knows it is a very shameful thing. It is going to be very embarrassing for you knowing that you are the first wife and some other some other woman is coming into your home you know to share not just your husband but to share practically everything but there is no trust anymore because there is a third party you understand hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is hilda l brown to all those who are viewing me for the very first time and i do talk about things that happen in our society so today guys i'm going to use the story of a fashion designer Adeyoti Funcho and Mercy Aigbe. Mercy Aigbe is a Nigerian actress and a movie producer. While Funcho Adeyoti is a fashion designer. Well, they were friends, and Funcho was married to Mr. Adeyoti Kazim. Funcho has been friends with Mercy. So when Funcho organized a party for her husband, a birthday party, she invited Mercy, who came and they all had fun. The problem here is, shortly after that, Mercy Aigbe started dating Mr. Adeyoti. It's like your friend snatched your husband, you understand? So Mercy decided to become a side chick to Mr. Adeyoti, and Funchon did not like it, but she kept her calm. When her husband then told her that she wants to go ahead to marry Mercy, she said, no, I don't agree to polygamy. Well, Mr. Hadeyoti has religious background because he is a Muslim. He has religious background to marry many wives. The man went ahead to marry Mercy. And when the man um, was interviewed, he mentioned uh, Mercy Egbe as his second wife. Well, Madam Hadeyoti Funcho has said that people should disregard that statement that Mercy is his second wife. The statement which um, her husband made that Mercy Egbe is his second wife, that people should disregard it because she is done with the relationship. So there is no question of first or second wife. She is leaving the man for mercy alone. Guys, you know that word, husband snatcher. Well, it happens every day. So my point here, which I want to emphasize on, is the fact that even though Funcho Adeyoti is the legal first wife of Mr. Adeyoti, but she decided to step down. She looked at the situation and she realized that her husband does not care anymore for her. He has preferred to bring in a second wife, which means that she is, I mean, she's practically invisible in that house. It is her decision. Well, I really like the courage this woman has because some of you, you, put, we, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would have been on the social media now cursing, insulting mercy, husband snatcher, I will deal with you and all that. But no, she's not doing that. She has respected the decision of her husband. You want many wives, go have them. I will not deprive you of your happiness. If those are the things that make you happy, you continue and, 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 and do yourself Why I do me. So she has decided to step down and she's concentrating on herself. Guys, that's something all of us should be doing. A lot of women have come to the internet, uh, to the social media, talking about their marriage problems. My husband did this. My, my, my best friend did this to my husband. Things like that happen every day. And sometimes it is better to just stay back, go out of the marriage and let those people have fun. Okay? You leave everything in the hands of God. God will deal with that. Just concentrate on yourself and continue as if nothing is happening. They have three children together. But there is no problem. Since this woman is well-to-do, she knows that even if the husband does not give her money, even for a month, two, three, or even six months, she will be able to take care of her kids. That is, where, that is what women do nowadays. Okay, that's why I keep saying, focus on yourself. Step up your game so that you can be independent. You don't need to lean on a man all the time. Guys, I'm saying this because women keep finding themselves in positions where they have to fight for a man and it is not good whether it is the cause of that man or it is your own cause or it is just coincidence i don't know but never put yourself in a situation in a situation where you have to fight for a man because let me tell you something 
a man that really loves you will never put you in a situation to fight for him yes i said so a man that loves you will never put you in a situation to fight for him because he knows it is a very shameful thing it is going to be very embarrassing for you knowing that you are the first wife and some other some other woman is coming into your home you know to share not just your husband but to share practically everything but there is no trust anymore because there is a third party you understand men are not our properties the same thing with men women are not your properties we have free will we make decisions okay if 10 years ago i was really in love with you and this year i'm no more in love with you it is okay to say it okay so that we deal with the reality okay guys so back to what i was talking about um the decision that Funsho uh, Adeyoti has made i really like it you know why she's honest she's truthful there is no need staying in a situation where um you are just going to hurt yourself you know a situation where you don't want you don't like it but you are there because you want to keep that name that you are a married woman no i'm a married woman. i want to be there you get uh, uh, um, all kinds of uh, uh, health issues high blood you know other things start coming up gastrovascular problems start coming up all because you are so stressed up it is better you leave so that that person can have peace and you will also have peace you know when you stay in a situation like that fighting you are depriving yourself of your own happiness and it is not good what's the benefit of all that nothing so girls i'm saying this because i want to encourage all of you to be strong this thing called relationship it is it is a war but there is no need fighting for it there is no need fighting for it we are all human beings you cannot force a man to love you and we need to accept the fact that love dies yes it dies someone that loved you 10 years ago maybe today that person does not love you anymore because people change with time the chemistry you people had 10 years ago is not the same chemistry you people are having now the charges are dead mm -hmm. you know like in physics when they used to tell us about the positive and the negative charge, they are dead nothing connects anymore they are dead we need to accept it even with people who have lived together for 30 years if you ask them they will tell you the way they are now the thing that is keeping them together is no more that uh, kind of love that we describe in a relationship no 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 there's no chemistry anymore it is more of respect yes more of respect that is why i always tell my friends that i prefer someone who will tell me that you know, you know what i admire and respect you a lot than someone who will tell me i love you love do men even still know the word love do they know the meaning of that they use it anyhow nowadays they don't care I love you, but you are doing something else. How can you love someone and you are disrespecting that person? It does not work. It does not work, guys. That is why Funcho Adeyoti said, losing a man or a husband who does not respect you is actually not a loss. It is a gain. He does not appreciate you anymore. He does not value you anymore. That is why he went ahead to have a second wife so let him go what is the need of fighting over him it is again on your side he's truthful he's being uh, um, you know truthful to his feelings and it's going to help both of you a lot so you can step aside and do your own things while the man go ahead and enjoy his life it's also good especially when kids are involved because the more you fight to stay together the more problems you people are going to have and it will also affect the children so there is no need girls no need for that okay so guys if you like this video and you really want your friends to get this piece of advice please share it and if you like what i'm doing on the social media do not forget to subscribe i need it okay like the video also share it and subscribe please most importantly do not forget to turn on the notification button okay i've seen that a lot of people they watch me but they are not subscribed i know i have new viewers every day but please if you like what i'm doing please do subscribe and turn on the notification button okay it's going to help us so that when i next upload a video you'll be one of the first people 
to watch it and give me your feedback all right guys bye bye thank you so much